Sometimes an SAT math problem relies on your knowledge of how to manipulate equations. Uh, and in this case, that is what we need to do. We need to actually cross multiply. So let's see, a does not equal zero and five over x equals five plus a over x plus a. What is the value of x? Well, notice a couple things. A does not equal to zero. And even though a seems to be a variable here, we could in theory plug in anything we wanted for a. And then we could plug in the answer choices and see which one works. I think that's a bit abstract though, not something I'm really gonna show you. I'd rather show you the better way, which is to just go ahead and solve it. Go ahead and cross multiply and see what happens. So one of the things on the SAT is, you know, trust your instinct. If this shows you to cross multiply, do it and follow it to the end. I don't know how many times I work with students and they're like three quarters of the way there and then they give up because they think they're not on the right track. Most of the time you're going to be on that right track. So let's go ahead and cross multiply. So we're going to cross multiply. We're going to get 5x plus 5a equals next one, 5x plus xa. Well, notice what happens here. We've got a 5x on both sides. They can go. So we are left with 5a equals xa. And we can just, by inspection, see that x is going to have to equal 5. If you don't believe me, divide both sides by a. a's will cancel. We get x is 5. So what is the value of x? It's 5. Choice E. So for this one, and you also you could plug that in and see that it works, right? 5 over 5 is equal to 5 plus a over 5 plus a. In fact, in the beginning, you could have actually, I suppose, just plugged in without plugging in an a. Because you can see that this equals 1, and this equals 1, and 1 equals 1, so there it goes. All right, if you plug in anything else, you're going to get different things on both sides. So E is going to be the answer to that one. Sometimes just following your instincts and knowing, doing what you know how to do, which is cross multiply, factor, distribute, all those kind of things, uh, is going to be what it takes to get you to that answer. So just keep following through. Don't smash down your instincts. Trust your instincts, develop those instincts, and that will help you on the math section.